Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, it's a complicated umbrella to stand under. Um, I think my work is um, very narrative and there's a lot of storytelling going on into this sort of urban theater. And my own role in it is also an active participant because I use my own body to become somebody else. Like, we share common features in that he has the same, if you don't mind me touching you, <laughs> same, same dimensions. Um, I have to be careful, he, sometimes he has a temper. is the batter. <laughs> um, the sculptures, they're their own being. I mean, they definitely have their own atoms and electrons that aren't me, but they're made from me. So actually, if you look inside them, you know, you'll see my sweat and maybe a few chest hairs or whatever you have in there so we're still somehow connected. I would say I look at myself in this sort of dual dual sense one as being you know me who like you know feeds myself and eats junk food and plays video games and then there's myself as an artist so we have a sort of like duality there like this is sort of a different different reality for me that I live in do you often name them? I mean, this is Maria, right? Yeah. Well, I always call her Bald Maria, which she doesn't always appreciate, but we kind of roll, roll with it. And in terms of, um, for example, let's start with the batter. How, how did you feel when you were first created? Um, do you want to answer that one? Okay, and now, Maria, do you have any relations with the with the others, like with the batter. Go back to the batter. He is here in Montreal since a little while, right? Um, yeah, like how how long have you been here? Well, thank you so much for accepting to do the interview, the three of you. Yeah, thanks for um... <laughs>